Chapter 3, A Card Trick. Speaking of tornado, Pete went on, raising his voice over the sound of the wind, this reminds me of something funny that happened one time. So remember, Pete's in the shelter telling these stories. He waited as if for encouragement. Is it about the three of hearts? I asked quickly. Well, if you already know the story, you don't want to hear it again. I do, I do. This is my favorite one in the world. Well, maybe it won't hurt to tell it one more time. Now, back in those days, my little brother Sammy and I played cards in the evening. And we liked a card game called War. But we weren't supposed to play it because that's what it turned into. And my mother was tired of listening to us fight. Anyway, we were in the kitchen at the kitchen table when Tornado came up and poked my leg. Now, he did that when he wanted my attention to remind me that his dish was empty or something. But there was food in his dish. And there's water in his bowl. You've got everything you need. Now, stop poking me. I went back to the card game, but Tornado poked me again. It's too dark outside to go for a walk, I said. He poked me again. I said to Sammy, if I didn't know better, I'd think Tornado wanted to play cards. Sammy said, then play cards with him. I'm tired of this stupid game. Because he was losing, Sammy threw down his cards and left the room. I looked down at Tornado. Do you want to play cards? I asked. And Tornado looked at me, and his ears came forward as if he was interested. So I held the cards so he could see them. His ears came forward even more. I shuffled up the cards, and now his ears were up so high they were almost over his eyes. You want to play cards? Cards? I held out the deck, and he waited. I fanned out the deck, and he waited. I could see he was ready, willing, and able. He had that look when he got the ball that I had, and he was waiting for me to throw it. Then I had an idea. I put one card out just a little further than the rest. Pick a card, Tornado, I said. Pick any card you want. Tornado took one step forward. He stretched out his neck and he took a card. He took a card. I remember it to this day. It was the three of hearts. The dog was standing there with a three of hearts in his mouth. Well, Tornado stood there and I sat there and we waited. The trouble was, I didn't really know what we were waiting for. I had a dog with the three of hearts in his mouth, a dog who could do a card trick, but I didn't know really what the trick was. Put it back, I said, offering him the deck. He didn't move. I tried to take the card from him and put it back myself, but he wouldn't let it go. My daddy came into the kitchen for a glass of buttermilk and I said, Daddy, Tornado knows a card trick. Does he? Well, at least I think he does. Well, he knows half a card trick. Well, half a card trick's better than none. See, if I hold out the cards just like this, he takes one, but now he won't let it go. Tornado, drop it, my daddy commanded. Tornado dropped the card and wagged his tail. Good dog, Daddy said. Daddy, do you want to see the card trick? I think I can do it now. Well, if it doesn't take too long, I want to hear the news. I put the card back in the deck. It didn't want to go in because it was wet now and there were teeth marks on it. Pick a card, Tornado. Any card, I said. Tornado picked a card. I crossed my fingers for luck. Tornado, if that card is the three of hearts, drop it. Tornado waited. Drop it, my dad ordered, and Tornado dropped the three of hearts. Good dog, I said, and I felt really proud. I had a dog who could do a card trick.
even though my dad had to help. Is that it? My dad said. Yes, sir. You can get back to the news. Ah, the news can wait. Let's try that trick again.